welcome back tonight I am cooking dirty chips yeah you heard right dirty chips so I have got um, normal potatoes and sweet potatoes so I'm gonna do a mixture of, um, of both and I have peeled both lots of my potatoes and I have got my normal potatoes boiling in water just for 10 minutes and I had them in normal water to take the starch off them and then I've put them into boiling water and then I've got my sweet potatoes I've cut up and I've just put them straight into my tray which I have spray lighted. I don't parboil the sweet potato because I don't think it warrants it, it doesn't need it in my opinion. It's up to you how you do yours. Um, and then what I'm going to do is put them both in the oven and then I'm going to add a few special things <laughs> and make them dirty chips. So, once these have um, boiled up, I'll get them in the oven and then I'll come back to you. Sorry about the noise, I've got my tumble dryer going, can you hear it? <laughs> We're going away at the weekend so I'm trying to get all my washing done. I've been at work all day so you know what it's like. I ain't got time to stick it on the line, stick it in the tumble dryer. It's only June. <laughs> anyway, as a dipping sauce for our dirty chips, we're going to have some of this, which is the Southern Style Gravy Mix, uh, the Mayflower. Now, I've never had this before, but I'm going to give it a whirl. So it comes in a, like a takeaway plastic container, which is rather strange. I thought it would be in a sachet, you know? Anyway, so what you need to do is get yourself a saucepan and then in your saucepan you need to add 270 mils of cold water and 50 grams of your gravy powder. So I'm just going to weigh that out. Let's tip this up, you can see what I'm doing. That's better. Right, so let's get some to put that in. Ugh. Move that out of the way. So, 50 grams. Smell nice. Ooh. There we go. God, it smells lovely. Right, so add that, get your whisk, stick it on high, stick that in. Whisk it in. These potatoes are taking ages to boil. Right. lumps in here. Hang on, let's try to get rid of these lumps. You want lumpy gravy? Do you know <laughs> Sorry, did I wake some of you up then? <laughs> I've had a bit of an issue with Tesco's. Well, not Tesco, well, yeah with their Easy Peel Satsumas, they are horrendous, horrendous, they're awful. The last three to four weeks they have been awful. They're really tiny, they're, honestly they're no bigger than that, these Easy Peel Satsumas, because I haven't home delivered, I can't check what they're like. And then when I've been taking them to work, I've been opening them up, and they've been blooming awful. They've been dry and horrible, little shriveled up inside, dreadful. 
Anyway, I don't normally complain. My husband laughed when I said that, but I don't. <laughs> Promise. But I thought, I'm sick to death of this. I've got to go past her tonight to get some blooming satsumas. Even though I'm having Tesco's delivered at 8 o'clock tonight, I've had to make a special trip up to blooming Asda. And my friend's been doing the same as well. So um, I thought, blow it, I'm going to send Tesco's a blooming email. So I sent them an email this morning. Anyway, tonight, well, about 10 minutes ago, the phone rang and it was Tesco's. So I thought, oh God, they're going to try and flog me something. No, a man called Sean, very nice man. Um, he chatted away to me and he was saying how sorry he was about the quality and that they hadn't had any other issues and no one else had complained. And I said, well, I'm quite surprised they haven't because they're so blooming awful. My friend, the same. Anyway, he's um, refunded me three weeks worth. <laughs> So it's worth complaining. So if you've got some satsumas, easy peelers, and you're not happy with them, send Tesco's an email and um, they'll refund you. I told them I've been buying them for three weeks. It was it's probably four weeks actually that they've been rubbish. The last three to four weeks have been terrible. Anyway, if you've had the same problem, give me an email. Complain. It's well worth it. Look, I haven't stirred my swimming gravy. It's gone swimming thick and God, that's thick. Very thick. Nattering about them and sat boomers. Just going to add a bit more water to that. It's kind of a bit too thick. left look and the best before date is March 2018 so I'm impressed with that Mayflower very nice so long enough so I'm going to strain those and I'm going to get those on my tray and get them in the oven and then I'll come back to you when they're cooked. Right so my chips are all cut and they're out the oven and I've got a mixture of the sweet potato and normal potato and I'm just going to give them a little sprinkling of salt okay and to my grill I have got a couple of rashes of bacon cooking. I'm just going to take those out now. And then I'm going to chop up my bacon. It's a nice little pieces. To, you could um, fry up an onion and put some onion in there as well if you wanted to. So chop up your bacon quite small. And then you're going to sprinkle that 
of your chips, just say a bit more than half of it over your chips. And then what you're going to do, you can either use this as your A choice or you can sin it for six sins. And this is for two people. So you want 75 grams of the, you want the light Primula cheese. Okay, in the tube. It's quite a lot. Okay. And then we're going to put that onto our chips and try and sort of spread it on. It's difficult. <laughs> okay. I want to get this last bit out. <laughs> I don't want to leave it in there. <laughs> right, then to that, I've got to wipe my fingers, hang on. You're going to add some light mature cheese. Now, this is optional extra. So, if you're having that as your A, then this you will need to sin. 25 grams, that'll do, I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to grate on top of my chips, my cheese, then to that I'm going to just sprinkle on the rest of my bacon on top and then I'm just going to flash that under the grill quickly. spring onion you could chop some spring onion up and put them on top that would be rather special to finish it off oh that's hot and there we go I'm going to have to pick it up with this because it's blooming hot where it's been under the grill so dirty chips for two <laughs> so I'll give them a try I've got my sauce here as well for dipping. They're going to be hot. <laughs> so, I'll get one from the outside and some bacon. A little bit of cheese. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. 
That's lovely. It's lovely, Kim. No, I ain't dropping any. <laughs> now I'll get one from inside. So you can see all the, the cheesy loveliness. Oh my god, that is delicious. <laughs> mm. I'd recommend these dirty chips to everybody. <laughs> Give them a go. They are delicious. Absolutely delicious. If you want to get down and get dirty with these chips, I suggest you go and get some spuds. Anyway, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And um, press the little bell and subscribe. And tell everyone about me. And I'll see you soon. Bye.